Rather than have to carry large bulky lights alongside your small yet powerful action camera, or even your smartphone, or maybe you just need a small fill light for some close-up shots, Ulanzi have you covered with the versatile L2 RGB video light. I've always been impressed with the build quality of Ulanzi camera gear, especially considering the budget level pricing, and while my expectations with the RGB light are just as high, we have a pretty generous package here, complete with optional accessories. Straight onto the main unit though, which is rather compact thanks to its 41mm squared frame, we have a pretty robust design, constructed of plastic, which doesn't really help heat dissipation very well, but does keep the weight down at just under 70 grams. Pre-installed on the front is a silicon white diffuser used for creating a softer beam, although this can be removed to reveal the single LED light bead, rated with a life expectancy of up to 50,000 hours. Otherwise it's a pretty simple device with a single metal quarter inch 20 thread built into the bottom, which is perfect for mounting to a mini tripod, or for attaching the included cold shoe mount to the bottom. Talking of mounting, the rear of the unit incorporates a magnet so the unit can be attached to metal surfaces too. Otherwise we have a single USB-C port used for charging the built-in 800mAh battery, while a full charge will provide up to 240 minutes of usage, albeit at the lowest brightness. Crank it up to full brightness and that drops to around 65 minutes, still pretty respectable given its size. Although bear in mind that port does mean this unit is not waterproof, so cannot be used around water at all. Finally on the top we find a power and navigational buttons, and with the unit powered on the OLED display springs to life, highlighting battery status on one side, the current active mode at the top, along with the adjustable RGB light setting, which we can scroll through using the directional buttons to achieve the required colour, with the entire spectrum to choose from. A handy scale guide is conveniently located on the back too, or with the tap of the power button we scroll down to the brightness setting too which is just as easy to adjust. Finally by pressing both directional buttons together we enter the dynamic light effects mode where you are able to scroll through and select from 11 different modes helping to quickly and easily add some extra effects to your video projects. The light beam itself is rather consistent and although I've found I use the white silicon diffuser most of the time, you will find some additional options in the box, namely a honeycomb diffuser mesh which helps to reduce glare and soften the light, a circular condenser cup for concentrating the light and creating a more spotlight type effect, and a four page shaded sheet which provides the ability to distribute the light flexibly as and how you need it. Each of these attaches to the magnets located in the corner of the main beam, making switching between them a quick and easy affair. Performance is rather good too. Now I did notice a high pitched whine coming from the light, which can get annoying if you're in a very silent environment, but otherwise it's not too badly noticeable, while the light itself works really well. The smooth beam leaves no hotspot in the middle for consistently lit scenes that are flicker free, while the light itself is thrown across a wide angle and it's pretty even across the range. For a unit so small it's actually quite impressive. Although the side with the main beam does of course get rather hot, the heat doesn't seem to radiate across the entire body. Even while using at its 100% brightness setting, the main body seemed to stay relatively cool throughout my usage meaning I could comfortably handle it throughout. As a potential safety warning though, I wouldn't look directly into the light at any point, as it can cause some discomfort and potentially damage your eyes. I highly recommend working with the white silicon cover as much as possible when the lighting is directly facing your eyes. If they're lighting a backdrop, the precautions are not as necessary, although care should be taken depending upon your scenario. As it stands though, I've been left rather impressed with the power to size ratio this thing provides. All in all though, other than that high pitched whine that the unit does seem to emit, and the lack of water resistance due to that open port on the rear, there's little else to fault here. Light output is impressive and battery life is good considering the amount of light this thing throws out. If you're after a cheap video light with a wide colour range for shooting different scenarios, yet are on a tight budget, the Ulanzi L2 RGB video light is a sound investment. 